California, magnitude 4.1 earthquake and the shake alert has been given. California quake north of Clear Lake Volcano at the Mendocino Fracture Zone. And this is where we had the 4.3 earthquake just uh, a couple of days ago. We have the high threat volcanoes on the Cascadia arc right there. And one of them has uh, tremendous activity lately, Mount Hood, that we saw. We're going to take a look at the deformation there as well. And uh, it's right there on the bottom, right there, you can see that horizontal line, Mendocino Fracture Zone. And uh, Laston Peak Volcano and uh, Medicine Lake Volcano right there, Crater Lake. And this is the area we're talking about. This is, this is the Cascade Area Subduction Zone. The, event, the uh, subduction of the... Uh, Pacific Plate under the North American Plate, and it goes at a faster rate under Oregon, Washington, than it goes under the area of Vancouver. The subduction uh, plate has a different rate of convergence of uh, subduction. And now these are the methane volcanoes that were recently found on the West Coast. A sample of the methane volcanoes. Isn't that something? Tremendous amount of activity there, off the coast. And this again, the Juan de Fuca plate, submerging underneath the North American plate, one of the world's uh, uh, most uh, uh, active earthquake zones. Let's take a look at the map, see what's going on there. I finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Here we are at Sizemore Berkeley, and this is our earthquake today. And this was the uh, activity a few days ago. Let's pan in a little bit. And, uh, okay, that's the Mendocino fracture zone, black or fracture zone. This is where we are, above Sacramento, and again, all of these methane volcanoes right here. And this was our 4.3 magnitude the uh, just yesterday, 4.4, okay, sorry, 4.4, and this is 4.1 today. Okay, it's about uh, 150 miles uh, southeast. The activity, it shows 17 people. There's not many people living out there for some odd reason. And this is the uh, shake alert has been confirmed. It was given out for people to be notified to take cover. Okay, this is it right here. And going into the area of the... Uh, okay, let's go back again. This is the shake map. Mendocino fracture zone right there. And I don't know if um, uh, the Bay Area has been shaken a little bit by this. And this is the Salina, is where the San Andreas Fault meets the Hayward Fault right there. Okay, that that uh, is one of the um, fault lines that uh, geologists are warning about that can give a big earthquake. Now, we have been warned since the Ridgecrest earthquake to uh, be aware of the big one that would be coming because the northern San Andreas fault is ready for a big one. The people in Portland have been warned about that. The central section is also pressured for a big earthquake. So is the South Cal area, the Southern California area, Los Angeles, waiting for a big one earthquake. And let's go to our Cascade Volcanoes. Okay, this is it. This is the Mendocino Fracture Zone, Lassen Peak, Mount Shasta, Medicine Lake, Crater Lake. This is uh, the area that we had our earthquake today. Newberry Volcano, Three Sisters Volcano, Mount Jefferson. Mount Hood is that we, where we had the uh, over 48 earthquakes in the past uh, month. Mount Adams, Three Sisters, Mount Rainier. I don't see Mount St. Helens in here. Anyway, Mount Baker, Mount Glacier. Mount St. Helens is uh, north of Mount Hood. Oh, oh here it is. Sheer, here it is. Okay, sorry. I didn't see it. And a lot more in Canada right there. So this is our area that we're talking about. 
the Mendocino Fracture Zone, 2,500 miles long, starting off the coast of Cape Mendocino, right here, in far north California, running west from Triple Junction, San Andreas Fault, Cascadia Subduction Zone. It continues on west. And uh, uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to tell you, yes, let, let's remember what happened here. What happens here? Um, this is the uh, San Andreas Fault. That's the Walker Lane Fault System. It acts like one fault, but it's hundreds of faults, as you can see, all scattered together. And this is the area of Ridgecrest where we had the a couple of years ago the 7.3 earthquake in July, July 5th, after the 6.4 on July 4th. Now, this is uh, the San Andreas takes up 25% of the subduction pressure of the Pacific Plate under the North American Plate. And then the other 25% is taken by the, the Walker Lane Fault System. And this system here pressures up and pushes up towards the northwest this way, it pressures this way, um, like a boat type of thing. It pressures this way or along the Mendocino Fracture Zone right there from one of the uh, geological articles that we read uh, at the time, at that time. So Mendocino, the term being usually applied to, uh, to the active fault segment east of the Gorda Ridge as well as to the true fractures or segment of west of it, many seismologists refer to the active segment as Mendocino Fault, and the fault section demarcates boundary between northwestward moving Pacific Plate, Pacific Plate, and the eastward moving Gorda Plate, Gorda Plate. The Gorda Plate goes this way. The Gorda Plate is subducting beneath North American Plate offshore of Cape Mendocino. That's where we see the activity lately where the Mendocino Fault intersects the undersea trench of the subduction zone. It meets the San Andreas Fault, as we saw before in the Walker Lane Fault System, right, right there. San Andreas Fault. This seismically active intersection is called Triple Junction, and specifically the Mendocino Triple Junction. There we go. OK. The, in a tsunami studies, Energy focusing around the fracture zone has been noted, leading to increased wave heights in the area around Crescent City, California. The fracture zone is referred to as Mendocino Escarpment, descriptively rather than naming of its uh, geological uh, origin. In history, he, uh, Peace observed in 1965 that the alignment of the transverse tectonic zone leading, extending from Mount Lassen, these are the volcanoes, of course. Mount Lassen Volcano, right there. Cascade, Shasta Cascade. And to the Walker Lane Fault System that we said before, here is San Andreas and the Walker Lane Fault System that has all the high threat volcanoes that we see. Walker Lane is a geographic uh, trough, roughly aligned with California-Nevada border, southward to where Death Valley intersects Garlic Fault, a major left lateral or sinistral strikes at fault. The northwestern end of Walker Lane is between Pyramid Lake. Okay, Walker Lane and Garlic Fault is where we have Ridgecrest, the Ridgecrest earthquake. So um, it extends from Mount Lassen, right there, to the Walker Lane at the end of the Honey Lake Fault. Okay suggesting it was once the continental terminus of the Mendocino Fault. It forms a boundary of the Modoc Plateau, lying northeast corner of California, as well as parts of Oregon and Nevada. Nearly one million acres of the Modoc National Forest are on the plateau between Medicine Lake and Warner Mountains in the east. And Columbia River. Columbia River we know as the river that it heads towards, okay, uh, Portland is on the, uh, and uh, Mount, St. Uh, Mount St. Helens is there, Mount Hood is there, Mount Hood, where are we, Mount Hood, there's the Columbia River right there, and that is where we have Yellowstone around here, 
Okay, that's the Snake River Plain. Cascadia River Basalt Group. Look at that. Look at that. All that basalt. Um, and uh, it uh, lies across parts of U.S. states of Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Idaho here. And, of course, it's not here, but Yellowstone is to the east of that. It's a wide flood basalt plateau between the Cascade Range and Rocky Mountains, cutting through the Columbia River. You can imagine the earth changes, what was going on at that time. Uh, provinces with the Great Basin. Okay, there we are. That's Yellowstone around. Where are we? Yellowstone's up here. Okay. Okay. Where it meets Honey Lake Fault, it bends to trend northeast across northwest corner of Nevada. Okay. So that's it. That's our area. And of course, um, where am I? Okay, here we are. Okay, sorry about that. Let's go back to our map, our shake map, and our aerial. Aerial. Okay, this is Salt Lake, and this is Idaho right here, and this is our Yellowstone Lake area, Yellowstone Supervolcano area right there. Oh, there's Yellowstone Lake, and uh, Craters of the Moon in Idaho. Okay, so um, there's a Columbia River right there, and this is Mount Hood right there. Portland, Mount Hood. And all our beautiful high threat volcanoes, most of them, of course, snow capped, as you can see. Okay, so all of you there, please be very careful because we have been, uh, it's the geologists have been warning us that their, their big one is uh, overdue because of pressure there. Thank you for your support. Please leave your comments. Thank you.